quote Absolutely. from uh, one uh, uh, outtake from Wang Yi's speech at a conference. He said, China's attitude is consistent and clear cut. Dialogue may be conducted, but it should be based on equality. He's talking about with America. A cooperation yep. is welcome, but it should be for mutual benefit. Competition may exist, but it should be healthy in nature. And then here's the kicker. Confrontation, which China does not fear, will be met in kind. Ten years ago, I would have sort of laughed at that. Today, I'd say, yeah, I think they mean it. What do you think? I think so, too. I think, uh uh-oh, if I'm Taiwan right now, I'd be quivering in my boots. Uh, I mean, look at the military that they have, right? China's got the uh, Type 99A. It's a powerful tank. And this is just one unit, right? And uh, meanwhile, Taiwan has, uh, uh, and these are tanks America provided. They're uh, they're the M60s from the 1960s. This is what we're up against. This is what, well, they are up against. I'm not up against it, thank God. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Taiwan is uh, it's in a bad spot right now, and it doesn't seem to uh, have the support that it really needs from America because Biden is incredibly weak. Uh, China would not be this uh, adventurous under Trump. They certainly uh, scaled back their ambitions when Trump was in charge. And now with Biden in charge, they feel as if they can walk all over him. And I, I don't even blame them. I don't yeah. blame them. Well, Wang Yi actually spoke about that in his speech. Again, I'm quoting from your article. This is a quote, Taiwan is a long lost son who will eventually return home and the island nation quote should not be used as a pawn to serve others agenda they have explicitly and by they i mean official propaganda outlets like global times one of their english language propaganda outlets Uh, there's videos coming out again from approved sources showing the invasion of taiwan threatening the mm-hmm. invasion of Taiwan. President Xi himself might not have said it, but all the communist fronts are saying it. I'm worried they might try it, and they're up against yeah. Joe Biden, who showed his stamina in Afghanistan, didn't he? Absolutely, he did. And his generals are no better. I mean, you have generals whose uh, main concern, uh, according to them, is, uh, is white rage. White yeah. rage. is white people the problem. That's right. Well, um, what are the other allies in the region? I mean, it's always oh, easy uh, Korea, to talk. Korea, Japan. Yeah, sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. Yeah, South Korea. Oh, Japan. I was saying Korea, Japan, uh, Australia. Australia yeah. is definitely an ally. Yeah, uh, but that's about it. I don't think they can really count on uh, New Zealand because New Zealand is so intrinsically tied to China's economy right now. I mean, China owns most of its hospitals, for instance. So I don't think they'll want to uh, to bite the hand that feeds them. And I don't think uh, Taiwan can expect to see any help from Southeast Asia either. You know, I I don't want to be a warmonger. I think that um, America and the world are sort of reeling from a 20-year adventure in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, I think withdrawing was right, although the catastrophic way that Biden withdrew, I think, is really the the difference of opinion between him and others. If, If Taiwan falls, I mean, really, imagine you're in South Korea. Can you count on America? Imagine if you're in Japan. I mean, and mm-hmm. Japan and China, of course, have been to war on more than one occasion in the past. Um, it's not so much even should America defend Taiwan as if that domino falls, really what's next? I, I just have to, th- have to think that the whole region is about mm-hmm. to be colonized. China is a colonizer economically and diplomatically. It's taken over a lot of Africa and Asia with the yep. Belt and Road Initiative. But to, to move into the military sphere, I, I actually think they bloody well mean it. I think so, too. I think so, too. I mean, they've got all this hardware and they want to play with it. I mean, they're just like the American generals back in the 1990s when they wanted to play with their new hardware. What did they do? They started a war in Iraq. Right. And now China's feeling uh, the itch. You know, it it wants to play with its toys. And, you know, you know how men are. We are we we want to play with our toys. Uh That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.